Hello and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. In today's video, I am making French butter cream using egg yolks. French butter cream is a very easy to make and an adaptable kind of butter cream. Changes can be made to the method and eggs used which will still yield great results. For added value, I'll be showing you a simple way to whip your broken French butter cream back to smooth looking consistency. This happens mostly when there is separation between the liquid and the fat after the butter cream is chilled. I'll be comparing my French butter cream made with whole eggs and that of egg yolks and we'll be telling you about the differences if any at all. So without having to waste your time, let's jump right in. I have 350 grams of egg yolks and added to this is 350 grams of granulated sugar and a pinch of salt. These are stirred together in a heat proof bowl and set over a double boiler. The double boiler or bain marie is a method of cooking using steam instead of direct heat. And in this case, when the heat proof bowl is set over the pot of boiling water, the egg yolk mixture is slowly cooked using steam of the boiling water underneath. Throughout the process, the source of heat used to boil the water is regulated to ensure the water does not boil vigorously. There's also a slight separation between the bowl and boiling water by ensuring the bottom of the heat proof bowl does not touch the water underneath. The egg yolk temperature is checked until it reaches 73 to 74 degrees C or equivalent to 165 degree F, which is a safe zone to ensure no bacteria is present in the eggs. The mixture is then transferred to a stand mixer and whisked on high speed until the egg mixture changes form from yellow to a pale looking foamy consistency. Our egg and sugar mixture is left to whip for up to 15 minutes. I tend to use the 15 minutes rule to ensure that at the end of 15 minutes, I am guaranteed a mixture that is cool to touch and has the consistency right for the butter to be added. I break the 15 minutes into five minute intervals, ensuring that the mixer has a break every five minutes to make sure that the mixer head is not warming up during the mixing process. With that said, Swiss meringue buttercream and French buttercream are my absolute favorite buttercreams to recommend any day for different reasons. While Swiss meringue buttercream is a little bit technical to make and not completely beginner friendly, French buttercream as earlier noted is completely easy and beginner friendly to make as you will find in this process. Very much an adaptable recipe that can be changed around for great result. It can be made with whole eggs, egg yolks only as I am doing today or a mix of both 50-50 and the same great result and good tasting buttercream is guaranteed. Besides the ingredients that can be changed around and still achieving great results the whole method has been changed around completely and over the years i have made french butter cream i have seemingly achieved great results too but originally french butter cream wasn't made over a bain marie it's made from egg yolks that are whipped and then a drizzle of sugar syrup is added and this is beaten to a foamy consistency before the butter is added for me the reason why i prefer french butter cream using the double boiler method is a case of preference because the idea of fresh eggs used in buttercream makes me queasy and that includes Italian buttercream which is made with fresh egg whites. For that matter, I prefer Swiss meringue buttercream better to Italian meringue buttercream. I have adapted my recipe considerably to suit myself and my taste preferences and what my customers prefer. And it is good to note that this buttercream in itself is not super sweet. However, you can adapt it to the sweet side or make it a little less sweet by increasing and decreasing some of the ingredients. For me, I add icing sugar to my French buttercream, which adds body and stability to the buttercream, whilst also cancelling out the battery mouth feel that comes with the saw of buttercream. I also add a bit of salt which I added in the beginning to cancel out the sweetness and enhance the taste. With that said the most important thing in any buttercream is the butter and it's not just the quality of butter but also the consistency of butter that one uses. When I made French buttercream with whole eggs I spoke a lot about this butter and I'll be linking that video out here for you to check out so that you can draw some more information for yourself but in simple terms the quality of butter is important for a good mouthfeel some of the ingredients in some butter can leave an oily mouthfeel for the buttercream so it's important that no matter what buttercream you're making good 
quality butter is used. So for this French butter cream, the consistency of the butter has to be spreadable. Spreadable is on a spectrum where it is not too soft and melting, but it is also not hard with too much pressure. It has to be in between. And especially if you're in a cold country like in England here, where even butter put out at room temperature can still be hard. You can pop your butter into the microwave for 40 seconds at 20 seconds intervals and that should guarantee a good spread which is what you need for this butter cream because if the butter is too hard you're going to run into some difficulties during the mixing phases but that's just a bit of information to help you get the best out of making this butter cream let's get back to my work table where we can add the butter and the other ingredients finish off this butter cream and i'll be talking you through the comparison between the whole eggs version and the egg yolk version Our egg mixture after whipping for 15 minutes is now foamy and stretches with a candy-like consistency. The bowl is cool to touch so it's time to add the butter which has been microwaved for 40 seconds. It is added to the mixture in chunks whilst the mixer is running on medium speed but after the butter is all added, the mixer speed is raised to high which is speed 6 on this K-mix. After 5 minutes of whisking, vanilla is added. The recipe calls for 2 tablespoonfuls but too much vanilla never hurt anybody. The icing sugar is also added at this point to add body and stability to the buttercream. Additionally, it helps to cancel out any battery aftertaste. Recipe details are on screen and will be written below in the description box for your convenience. Once all the ingredients are added, the buttercream is whisked for another 5 minutes and slowed down for another 2-3 to three minutes after which it's transferred into a bowl ready for use. I normally make my buttercream in advance which is then kept frozen or refrigerated to be brought back to room temperature ready for use. To get the chilled buttercream to room temperature, the bowl of buttercream has to be left on a countertop for a couple of hours. Occasionally, when I am short of time, the buttercream is whipped cold which can leave the whole thing looking unsavory, broken and curdled. To bring the broken buttercream back together, a portion of the buttercream is melted warm and poured back into the broken buttercream and whisked together which will see the buttercream come together which is exactly what i am doing here now after whisking for a while notice our buttercream comes back together and it's all done Comparing my egg yolk buttercream to my whole eggs buttercream, I made some observations that were slightly surprising. The whole eggs buttercream is linked up here and in the description box for you to check out. There is no stark difference in color, which is quite surprising as I thought the egg yolk would have yielded a more yellowish color. It still looked slightly yellow, which I know is hard to see on camera, especially in the light but off camera it was slightly clear that it was a tinge bit yellowish than the whole eggs buttercream with the difference in color almost the same there was also a difference in texture both were smooth rich with a great mouthfeel however the egg yolk had a lighter consistency and a melt in the mouth mouthfeel and almost disappeared quickly whereas the whole eggs was a tiny bit heavier on the tongue. The difference, however, doesn't make one better than the other, as both buttercreams are amazing. But the difference will inform you about which to choose depending on your need and outcomes. It goes without saying, the buttercream despite made from eggs isn't eggy at all. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.